Did you know that you can integrate your Google Drive with JotForm workflows? Well, let me show you how. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you currently utilize JotForm workflows and you're requesting documents from your users, you can always integrate with Google Drive. So let me show you how. Top left-hand corner, let's go ahead and create a very simple form. We're gonna start from scratch on the classic form. And I'm just gonna pull in some really basic elements from the left-hand side. We'll do full name, email, and we can also bring in a file upload option. Then I'm gonna head up to the middle orange button settings and on the left hand side, we can see we have workflows and we can create a new workflow. Now this is going to create basically from scratch for us. Now, if you're wanting to use more of a template style, you can absolutely do that. But right here, we have our form that they're going to complete. They're gonna upload a document for us. So the first step is going to be the approval process. So over on the left hand side, I'm gonna bring in an approval and we can click our settings to make sure everything is finalized. So we have approve and deny. We have the approver. Now, if in your form, if you're asking them to add in a manager's email, you can always pull from the form fields to add that in here. Then we also have some completion roles. We can either require a response from the majority, from all, from one person, or a certain number of responses. For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and just do one person. And if you want, you can always edit that notification email. Next, let's go ahead and give the approve and deny. So over on the left-hand side, for both of these, we're gonna have them be emails. So we'll have our two here. We're gonna pull down for each. This one's going to be our deny, and this one is going to be our approve. And we can also edit this. We'll say denial email and approval. And both of these are completely editable. So as of right now, it's going to pull in their information, but we're probably going to want to say something more like your information has been denied because X, Y, and Z give that information. So here, so your request has been denied. And of course we can add in more information here. We'll just put test for now. And then our recipients is coming from that form field, the email. Perfect. We can save this and then same thing over here request has been approved and we can edit this how we see fit we can do save and now from here i'm going to go ahead and pull end to the bottom and we'll finalize over here but we can jump over to our integrations and right down here we have our google drive so we're going to send files and we can bring this right up here so once it's been approved once they've received that email we're going to send the files to Google Drive. So we can go ahead and complete that setting. We're gonna choose our Google Drive account. Let's add that action. Now here it's going to ask us to enter a folder name. So what do we want the folder where all of these documents are going to be sent to? For this one, let's just call this one uploaded documents. And we can also create subfolders for each submission within this new folder. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Right now it's pulling the submission ID, which isn't giving us a lot of information about who is submitting the information. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull from the form fields the name, and then we can also pull the date. And here is where we're gonna choose what's gonna go into that folder. So if we want, we can add in the PDF of their submission. If we're just wanting the documents that they're uploading, we can take that out. And then the second one down below, we're gonna add in that file upload. Let's go ahead and save. And we are good to go. So let's go ahead and publish and we will open in a new tab. And let's fill this out. We'll do our good friend, John Smith. And let's find a file. Perfect, we can submit. Now, as the approver, I'm going to receive an email in my inbox to let me know that I need to come to JotForm to approve. But since I'm already here, I'm going to head back over and we're currently in the workflow builder. I'm going to jump over to my inbox and I can see that we have John Smith right here in progress. I get to see the information. I also get to see what he uploaded. If we approve, we're good to go. We can go ahead and approve and we can see it is running that integration and we'll see it create that folder for us. And it'll also give us a link to that folder as well. Right down here, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to Google Drive. And here we can see JotForm created the uploaded documents folder for us. And again, we have the subfolder for John Smith with the date and time. If we click here, we see what he uploaded in addition to his PDF submission. 
and it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize Jotform workflows and integrate it with Google Drive, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.